In this exercise, I'll demonstrate how to get the transition temperature of a superconductor. So right here we have the UPCO superconductor, we have a neodymium magnet, and we have a small device with have a styrofoam bottom and a PT1000 th uh, thermometer, which can be where we can read the voltage and get the temperature of the sample. And this is actually just the top part of a Coke bottle. So I unscrew this and then I place my superconductor inside. And the trick is now that this coke part will apply a force to force the, the superconductor to come into contact with the styrofoam and the um, and the thermometer. So what I need now is I need to pour some liquid nitrogen. So I need to put on uh, proper protection equipment. And then I pour nitrogen onto the sample. To cool it to liquid nitrogen temperatures. So once it's cold, it will be superconducting and then should be able to levitate my small magnet. Okay, So this was actually not nitrogen enough. It didn't cool it sufficiently. So we'll try to pour some more and not spill any. So this time we see it's it's levitated. Might be difficult to see because it's inside the cave, but I think you can guess that as long as it's spinning, it's actually levitating. And I can give it a small whack to make it spin even faster. Okay, that was a bad whack. Okay, you get the idea. So all you do now is you wait and then you read out the voltmeter uh, coming from the two wires here. So this is connected to a voltmeter which tells you the temperature of the PT1000 at the bottom. And then once the magnet falls to the bottom we have crossed the transition temperature and we can read the voltmeter and get the critical temperature of the superconductor.